All right. Uh, freaking out yet? <laughs> well, let's make sure we look at the big picture here. So we just see we have two small body candles uh, moving sideways. If we look at the uh, <clears throat> excuse me at the ETF of the Dow Jones, we see two sideways candles. Nothing crazy. Uh, you know, said that the market needs some rest. It's been up pretty much four days, and it, it had rest today. It was what was it down? What? eight nine so nothing to freak out more could say okay you know you can say more about okay doji another doji can it roll we'll see um and just go from there weekly still you know we don't know how this this is only tuesday so we don't know how this is going to go if it, it could be a pullback to test this previous resistance and now turns into sport we just have to see what's going on so we don't want to uh jump be the first out of the foxhole we see we have another pullback uh if you look at the the uh, daily time frame, you take a look at the percentage, you know, you see, am I, am I missing something here? Is, or or do we have just less than a half percent uh, from the top of this candle to the low of this candle? Okay, so uh, again, we'll see what happens. You know, um, the SP, the, the financial sector has been doing really good. And we'll just continue to go. The Russell continue from the downside. Uh, let's look again at some percentages. See what we got. We got less than a half percent. Not saying that that means anything, but it's just now got below the 10. So, but you do have bearish MACD. So, we'll see uh, if, it, if if tomorrow gives you a good candle. Maybe continue to take 11.20 out. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we'll, we'll see what goes on. Uh, the composite, uh, same thing. Uh, volume decreased a little bit. So, if you want to look at the, the cues, uh, you could say, okay. You know, volume decreased at the downside a little bit, but it has go down, gone down. It's under the 10, and we just have to see what's going on. Um, again, is, if this is bearish to you in any way, shape, or form on the weekly, you let me know, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So you just kind of just have to, uh, you know, don't, don't, you know, the, the world's not on fire. I mean, a lot of things uh, did look a little bit weak today, and we'll take a look at them. So Apple, we did see that it tried to have some strength. Remember, this candle was full green at one point. Uh, or at least from this point up and it can close down and this is definitely showing some signs of weakness uh, so you can look at the individual name and say listen it's it's starting to break down let's say you have this up channel right here let me take this one this was the previous thing that we were looking at uh, and you can say this up channel has been broken and uh, you're gonna continue to the downside you can look at Tesla uh, Tesla you know we were talked about the 200 but right now we just want to see I just put these up actually I was talking with a friend of mine and uh, just to say, okay, is this, you know, is it going to hold here? I mean, right now you had, what, one, two, three, four, five days consecutively down. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be just a dead cat bounce off of there. We saw this previous pivot point. Uh, it needs to get above that before we start looking at anything. And if you took this, took this purple line off, what would your next synopsis be? Uh, the four, uh, 114 area definitely can be something it's just a past pivot point and if we look at the weekly you can see yes you have this four uh one i don't know why i keep saying four 115 area uh that you, you definitely could say okay can this be some level of support and if so you know we'll see how it goes but uh again we will uh just just play it by ear and we won't make any we won't predict because that's a game that is pretty much uh, dominated by people are trying to you know guess the top and the bottom don't really want to do that don't really it, it doesn't pay to do that uh, Netflix we see that it's pretty much again I want to see to get above this line I want to see it get above this 355 line and see what happens there um, and, and see what happens so at least above these previous highs but definitely above this high and we'll see what happens price line just give them a retracement at the end of the day, when I looked at trip, uh, I told you to look at it lunchtime. Lunchtime, this was all green, but now it's not. So you still have to look. I don't buy it typically on the dips unless I see some type of price action that warrants it. And right now, right here, right now, not yet. Uh, Baidu, Baidu is is still crunching away on this weekly uh, time frame that we were talking about. Yeah, so we're pretty much at this weekly. Shooting star we've talked about for a while. We want to see it clear above that um, and go from there. We have Google. Uh, Google um, on the weekly. Uh, remember, this candle was full green again. And now it's a shooting star. Continue to the downside. 
Uh, it was probably a good trade if you were looking to day trade it as well. I mean, maybe it gave some opportunities for you guys. Um, but we have to see what's going on with that. We have uh, Yahoo. Yahoo is just, you know, again, we want to see what type of percentage we're looking at. So it's down about two, two and a half percent. Uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Um, you know, we're not looking to predict anything whatsoever. Uh, we can't. It's not the way to do it. But uh, let's look at Johnson Johnson. Uh, Johnson Johnson held up well today. So we see that we're above these previous highs on Johnson Johnson. So this might be something that they're starting to roll that money maybe into the healthcare type of thing. Merck. Giving maybe if it pops up above this level right here, that could be good. Uh, Pfizer, Pfizer didn't show that strength. We had Guild, uh, Guild, if it could get above here, maybe. Uh, you got Selgin, uh, Selgin showing pretty decent uh, price action. Uh, you have Abbott, Abbott showed well. Look at that, Abbott showed well, clearing all this or getting right to it. How about that? So if it could close above this this high of uh, 38.77, that's a that's a good look for Abbott right there. Does, yep, and it's 38.73. Yeah, so it's a couple cents. So let's see if it can continue to the upside. Uh, it's just been coasting up there, and you got some increased volume. So let's let's see if that one continues to the upside. Uh, who else? We have. Um, let's look at Walmart. Walmart continues to just give you Doji's, Exxon Mobil, uh, as well. You got a. Uh, she, was it Chevron? Yeah, Chevron showed a good, you know, some good price action above here. So that one can continue to go up. Yeah, that that might be a good trade. If it could get above these highs, which you see are, are over here as well, uh, it could definitely be something that could uh, could give you some price action. Uh, just got that going on. So eh, you may have the the weekly, and that's why I have to look at all the different time frames to kind of see, uh, you know. If everything is pretty much uh, consistent, you have a uh, Cisco. Uh, Cisco, nah, not doing that one. Not even getting close to that one, quite honestly. You have Procter and Gamble looking all right. Just have to see a good, some good price action. Uh, Philip Morris, that one's looking all right. Let's see if uh, Kraft. Uh, Kraft looks. Oops, that's not Kraft. Am I looking at the one? Okay, okay. What am I? I'm going crazy. There you go. All right. Craft. Nope. And uh, we'll see what what happens from there. So, uh, again, you know, we'll just see what's uh, what it looks like and then uh, we'll take it from there. So uh, trade them well and uh, just be patient. Take care.